hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so today we are going to talk about the protein transport by coat vesicles or mechanism of vascular transport uh, as i discussed in my previous video uh, the transport vesicle play a central role in the traffic molecules between different membrane enclosed compartment of the secretory pathways for example vascular transport is selective for instance lysosomal enzyme must be transported specifically from the golgi apparatus to lysosome not to the plasma membrane or to the er okay. so first in this uh, cargo selection coat protein and vesicle body that means formation and fusion of transport vesicle okay so most of the transport vesicle that carry protein okay Uh, er to the golgi and subsequent compartment are coated with the cytosolic coat protein and thus are called the coated vesicles okay so what is the coated vesicles okay so transport vesicles that carry proteins are coated with the cytosolic coat protein and they called is the coated vesicles for example this is a trans golgi lumen or you can say the e alumen right this is site of cytosol this is cytosolic site now here is the donor membrane okay and there are lumen and protein 1 and 2 then membrane proteins here is 2 the first they form the bud okay with the coat assembly here is the coat and form the uh, vesicles they Uh, coated with the proteins different types of proteins are coated with these vesicles right so here it is the assembly of the protein drives the budding of vesicles containing selective cargo protein from the donor membrane okay so the cargo protein from the donor membrane so now then the uh, vesicle then travels okay along the motor protein and cytoskeleton filaments to the targets for example that is targets either the uh, er to the golgi or golgi to the uh, late endosome then lysosome okay uh, another way is it is the trans golgi to the uh, endosome okay and then they uh, directly to the target for example the target membrane or vesicle tether it may vesicle transport okay what happened in target membrane that uh, proteins okay coat are coat are removed here is a coat are removed at the target membrane and allow the membrane to fuse and the vesicle empty their luminin okay this is the luminin part okay luminin proteins okay uh, luminin cargo and insert the membrane proteins into the target membrane so it is the first they uh, fuse with the uh, target membrane and they empty these uh, proteins okay so next it, it is the uh, types of coat protein in low, involved in vesicular transport okay so there are three main types of uh, pro coat protein have been characterized so clathrin first second cop1 and cop2 cop it's indicate coat protein okay so vesicle coated with these different proteins are involved in transport between different compartment of the secretory pathways so you can see in this figure the secretory pathways as i had described in my previous video and this link given in description box so please watch it here it is the er to the ergic and golgi okay cis golgi that is a cop2 that means protein carry forward okay so er they uh, budding from the transitional er portion they transport the protein okay this is a uh, coat vesicle okay green color it shows the coat vesicles okay the ergic okay er golgi intermediate compartment and on to the golgi apparatus in contrast okay this this one cop1 you can see here the cop cop1 coated vesicle bud from the ergic or the golgi apparatus trans golgi network okay here and here both side carry the cargo backwards 
okay backwards returning residue protein to early compartment of the secretory pathways uh, hence the cop1 is the core protein on the, uh, on the retrieval vesicles that return residue er protein back to the er from the ergic okay or the golgi and on the vesicle that retrieve golgi processing enzyme back from the uh, late golgi compartments here okay. here is transported cop1 okay so cop2 this is general pathway carry proteins er ei ergic in golgi apparatus uh, however in cop1 protein carry backward like trans golgi network then transport protein uh, cis golgi okay and cis golgi to the ergic complex and then er okay either the uh, ergic form the bud okay and cot protein transfer the er backward and either the uh, entire uh, pathways like backward pathways okay Finally, cladrin coated vesicle. Okay, so, uh, last is a uh, cladrin. This is the uh, last types of vesicle coated protein. Cladrin uh, protein carry both forward and backward. Okay. Responsible for the uh, transport in both directions between the trans Golgi network to the direct plasma membrane. Okay. Other uh, to transport the uh, protein trans golgi network to the endosome and then lysosome and third it is the uh, endosome and then plasma membrane but the forward uh, sorry the backward only the plasma membrane to endosome and endosome to the trans golgi network okay so next is the cargo selection and cot assembly so the gtp binding protein recruits the adapter okay the adapter proteins erf that mediate the cargo selection cot assembly the formation of quarter vesicles is regulated by the uh, small gtp binding protein erf and sar which are related to the uh, ras and uh, ren so here it is the both have different function arf and uh, sar so the arf function in the formation of cop1 vesicle uh, okay cop1 coated vesicles and cladrin coated vesicles budding from the golgi apparatus now the sar function in the formation of cop2 coated vesicles budding from the er this gtp binding protein recruit the adapter protein that mediate vesicle assembly by inserting both with the cargo protein with the vesicle cord protein so in this figure uh, illustrated the role of erf in the assembly of cladrin coated vesicles at the trans golgi this is the lumen of golgi and trans golgi network so the first erf uh, and gdp okay is converted to the active erf and gdp here is the A R F sorry okay and GTP by the uh, by here guanine here is the guanine exchange factor localized to the trans Golgi network membrane here it is the present GEA which is the activated the ERF GDP into the ERF GTP now the activated ERF GTP then recruits the uh, adapter protein that nucleated both cargo selection and cot assembly. This is the cytosolic side of uh, cell uh, of Golgi. Sorry. Uh, so the uh, the adapter proteins. Okay, this is binds to the sequences in the cytosolic domain of transmembrane protein. Okay, this one transmembrane receptor. You can say the receptor. Okay, the signal there uh, export from the Golgi. As discussed earlier, the transmembrane proteins include receptor for luminal cargo protein, which are thereby selected in corporation into vesicles. Okay, this is the cargo protein. It binds to the receptor. 
मोरेवर दी एडेप्टर प्रोटीन रिक्रूस क्लेड्रिन ओके ये इस दी एडेप्टर रिक्रूस दी क्लेड्रिन दिस इस क्लेड्रिन इनिशियल डी एसेम्बली ऑफ दी वेसिकल कोट दिस इस डी वेसिकल कोट क्लेड्रिन now the cladrium plays structure role in vesicle burying by assembly into basket like lattice structure this is the basket like lattice structure the distorts the membrane and initiate the bird then the initial then the burying vesicle is then pinched off by dining okay diam a large it binding protein that assembly into the uh, helical polymer they constrict okay this is the helical uh, type of driven by the hydrolysis of gtp and to promote the membrane fusion at the necks of budding vesicles okay and clathrin cotter vesicle is formed okay so this is the all about today video uh, check the description box for more details and if you are new here please subscribing and hitting the bell icon for new updates okay so, and so the uh, share the video if you are found it helpful and thank you for watching